welcome. It's Thursday, May 21st. My name is Colby. Welcome to Mitten Fitness's Stay Home Get Ripped workout series. Today, you're going to need two heavy objects. We have some renegade rows coming up, two equally heavy objects. A bench or chair will help you for Bulgarian squats, Bulgarian split squats, um, and then a timer. We have timer apps in our description below. Check those out. Makes your life easier, trust me. All right, without further ado, let's get to a warm up. For today's warm up, we've got some new movements, so bear with me. Uh, we're doing three rounds of these, and each of these we're doing three reps of. So, first we've got upward to downward facing dog with some toe touches. That's going to look like this. I would go ahead and start in your downward and your rather upward dog with your arms straight and then push up into that downward dog with the downward dog you're trying to get the heels flush to the ground hip and butt high arms are straight as well and then from there you're going to do some two toe touches touching the opposite foot so right hand left foot Left hand, left foot, back down into upward facing dog, back to downward dog, one, two. So each of those from upward to downward to two toe touches is one rep, three times, three of those. The second movement is a little more complicated, a shin box, I'll admit right now, it's gonna be it's gonna depend on your level of flexibility in the hips um, but basically start in this position you bring the inside of your right knee to the ground fold over as much as you can within reason back up left inside knee to the ground and fold terrible on my left side <laughs> and back to the right fold Back to the left, fold. You're doing a great job. Have a lot, good luck with those. <laughs> okay. Really wakes up those hips. Three of those, right knee, left knee is one rep. Then you're gonna do three single leg RDL hand switches. That's where the heavy object comes into play. Hopefully not too, too heavy. Um, but you're going to get in that single leg Romanian deadlift position and just hand that back and forth, <laughs> trying to keep balance three times. And then switch legs. Again, keeping that balance. So three times back and forth each hand. Uh, and on each leg then go back to the top until you've done three rounds of all three movements at the very end you're gonna do 30 jumping jacks at the very end you're gonna do 30 jumping jacks jumping jacks look like this 30 of those after that you're gonna do 20 up downs or squat thrusts those look like this arm straight and down plank out hop back in and up 10 of those jumping jacks look like this 30 of those all right so that's three rounds total of three reps of upward to downward facing dog with toe touches three shin boxes and forward folds basically right knee to the ground left knee to the ground right knee to the ground left knee to the ground right knee to the left ground to the ground and then the single leg Romanian deadlift hand switches, uh, three reps each leg. And then at, once you've done three rounds of all of that, 30 jumping jacks and you're warmed up and then you're finding me back here for strength. Thanks so much. Welcome back from that warm up. Today's strength has four movements, two supersets, 30 seconds of rest in between each movement, 
Uh, the first superset has Renegade Rose. You're gonna do four sets of eight to 10 on those. Then you're gonna do Ipsilateral Glute Bridge Floor Presses. You're doing four sets of 10 to 12 each arm on those. Resting for 30 seconds, then jumping back up to those Renegade Rows until you've done four sets of both of those movements. On that last Ipsilateral Glute Bridge Floor Press set, you will rest for 30 seconds and roll into that second super set, which has weighted hollow holds. So a hollow hold, but with the weight in those arms this time. 20 second holds, four sets of those. And then your second movement in that second super set is tricep kickbacks. I'll show you those. Four sets of eight to 12 each arm, each tricep on those. Then back up to those weighted hollow holds until you've done four sets of both of those movements. Then you'll be done with strength. All right, for those renegade rows, grab your two equally heavy objects, place them about shoulder width apart. You are gonna plank over top of these. The dumbbells in your hands. I like to go for a slightly wider foot placement, foot stance, just to help keep my hips stable because you do want your hips to stay level here, maintain, don't twist. All right, and then you're gonna row. <sighs> Maintaining the core and this midline stability and not twisting. All right, elbows stay in. Renegade rows, four sets of eight to 10 each of those. Then you're going to your ipsilateral glute bridge floor presses. So these guys, you get down on the ground. You will be floor pressing this object from the floor. So with the ipsilateral, um, go ahead and get those heels up near your butt for the glute bridge. But when it's ipsilateral, that means the same side that you're lifting with, that leg is free. So in this case, it's my right hand. My right leg is gonna be free and up. My hips are as high as I can get them, and I'm pressing. A little more balance. You can use this arm to hold it out to your left side to keep that balance. Keep that single leg glute bridge the entire time you're pressing. All right? Ipsilateral glute bridge floor press. You're doing four sets of 10 to 12 reps each arm on those each side uh, then you'll run you'll jump back up to the renegade rows on through both of those movements until you've done four sets of each resting 30 seconds in between and remember on that last set of ipsilateral glute bridge floor presses you'll rest that 30 seconds go into your second super set of weighted hollow holds for the weighted hollow holds you do not need a lot of weight in your arms here for those, maybe eight pounder, 10 pounder, 15 pounder, whatever. I've got a 15. Get down on the ground for that hollow hold. Raise those legs up. And then the weight is in your arms. Get those shoulders off the ground. Engage that core. Arms are straight, legs are straight. Making that bowl hollow hold for 20 seconds. All right, after that, You'll rest for 30 seconds and go into tricep kickbacks. For those tricep kickbacks, you'll want a bench or a chair or an ottoman. Utilizing that chair or bench, put your knee on one end of the front of that chair or bench and the hand on the other. Your, your torso is parallel to the ground. You want your upper arm or humerus, part of that arm parallel with your torso, and then you're gonna use that tricep to kick the weight back. Hence, tricep kick back. Boom. Like that. All triceps nice and isolated, keeping that elbow tucked in to the body. All tricep kick back there. All right. You're doing four sets, eight to 12 reps each arm on those. Then you'll go back up, you'll rest 30 seconds, go back up to the hollow hold until you've done four sets of both of those movements. 
All right, press pause, have fun with this strength. I'll see you right back here for conditioning. Welcome back from that strength. Today's conditioning has three rounds of three movements. The first movement is a single arm suitcase deadlift. You're gonna do 15 of those. Then you're gonna do Russian twists, 30 Russian twists. And then you're gonna do 45 mountain climbers. 45 mountain climbers and then roll right back up to those suitcase deadlifts. You're doing three total rounds of this. Um, remembering that the suitcase deadlifts are each side, okay? So left and right side is one rep. All right, so suitcase deadlifts, you'll need your one heavy object there at your side, whichever side you're starting with. Find that uh, hip width stance there. Bend down, keeping the midline stable. Grab that suitcase, or <laughs> grab that dumbbell in the suitcase position. And then basically, you're gonna stand it up and then bring it back down. Tap the head of that dumbbell, keeping the midline stable. Stand it back up. Suitcase deadlifts. Make sure it taps that ground. All right, and you're doing each side, 15 reps each side on the suitcase deadlifts. Russian twists, whatever your heavy object is, might be easier with a plate, um, but you can do it with a dumbbell or a kettlebell even. Um, those are on the ground. <clears throat> Excuse me, grab, uh, if it's a plate, grab it, 10 and 2-ish, um, lift those feet off the ground, and then you're basically tapping that plate on the ground without letting your feet touch the ground. Your core is engaged, making a nice V with your midline and your knees, keeping those feet off the ground. Russian twists. Now, if it's a dumbbell, that's okay. Um, I would grab kind of one end of the dummy, almost in that goblet position, and doing the same thing. A little harder with the dumbbell, but you can do it. All right, Russian twists, 30 of those. And then you have mount climbers. Mount climbers, get in that plank position, and then you're just gonna bring, try to bring your knees to your chest, all right? Those are mountain climbers. You are doing 45 of those. It is each. And they also, the Russian twists are each. So with those Russian twists, you gotta go, it's a double tap for a rep. So may as well be 60 taps or left, right equals one for the Russian twists. Now with the mountain climbers, it's left, right on your legs. So one, two is one rep. Left, right is one rep. So however you want to look at it, 15 single arm suitcase deadlifts each side or 30 total, 30 Russian twists each side or 60 total, 45 mountain climbers each side, each leg or 90 total each round. And you're doing three rounds of that. All right, press pause, have fun with that. See you back here for conditioning. Welcome back for the cool down. Uh, we've got two different movements for cool down. One's gonna be lizard pose, and we're gonna do 30 second holds for each side. Um, I'll show you the lizard pose in a second, and then we're gonna do scorpion stretch, and that's again gonna be 30 seconds each side. Um, just kind of resting and stretching in those. I'll also show you the dynamic version of that in case you just want to go dynamic back and forth. All right, for that lizard pose, you're going to get down on the ground. You're going to have your right leg is forward, left hand on the ground. You're going to grab that left foot with your right hand. And then you're going to 
kind of ease forward, stretching that hip flexor area and that quad attachment and just kind of leaning forward into that. Now you can gradually hold and breathe and every time you exhale, try to stretch a little further for 30 solid seconds. Or you again can go dynamic with that and release the tension, go back in. Trying to get a deeper stretch though, each time on that hip flexor front area. I'll do it with the opposite leg. You might get a better view. So again, grabbing your right foot with your left hand and just bringing that left foot forward so that you can kind of lean in and stretch that hip flexor area. Really good quad stretch here too. And if you can, bring that chest up high. And again, you can either do that static, trying to stretch a little deeper each breath or releasing and dynamically going deeper. So that is the lizard pose. The second one is the scorpion stretch. Some of you might be familiar with this one. Basically laying on your stomach for this. Your arms are out just above 90. And then let's start with the left leg. You're gonna bring that left foot over the back and you should feel a stretch in your uh, right shoulder and then a kind of an opening up of your thoracic area and you don't want to touch the ground with this you just want to let it hover to get a little more of a stretch out of it that way and again you can hold these for 30 seconds um, or if you want, you can do these dynamically by rotating each side. Let's make sure those arms are straight, slightly above 90 with those hands, arms, and really feeling that stretch. Keeping that leg hovering, not touching the ground with that foot. Scorpion stretch. So 30 seconds each side of those, about a minute total time for each of those movements. That's your cool down. After that, you can do the shutdown challenge or you can fast forward through this cool down, do the shutdown challenge, then come back and do the cool down. Might be better. Uh, anyway, that's April 2nd for you. Have a great day, you guys. Hey folks, really appreciate you tuning in. Please do us a favor, press that like button, subscribe, find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, like us, like us, follow us, follow us. Stay healthy.